In the last video, we created this simple scene. We have this UFO with a scrolling background image. And also this scrolling is limited to the image size. And in this video, I'm going to, instead of loading a static background image. I'm just going to load a map from the Tiled Map Editor and I prepared this map in Tiled and uh, this map was created from this sprite sheet from, from a guy called uh, Kenny and his uh, top-down sprite sheet and I just cr quickly created this scene or this tiled um, this map it has three um, tile layers one is called the furnitures for these things so you can end these things it has a trees layer for these trees so I can make it visible or invisible and of course the ground layer so it has a furniture trees and a ground three layers every of these ties or these squares has a size of 64 by 64 and uh, let me see where can I go to show the properties. Property. I just started to learn how to use this map editor. Uh, so layer properties or map properties okay map properties inside the map so it shows that this map's width is 50 ties so which means in pixels every tile is a 64 by 64 so 50 times 64 in pixels this map is 3200 uh, in width and in height there are 30 ties so 30 times 64 so 1920 so 3200 in pixels in width and 1920 in height this entire map okay then I am just created here a folder and the um, tile creates two files. One is the map file and I'm going to open it in Sublime and as you see it's just a simple um, XML file. <coughs> it shows you the map width and the map height and also the tile width and tile height and here is the layer ground and it's so if you go here is the ground layer in the layers tab and it's encoded in csv then here is another layer called the trees which corresponds to this layer trees and it's encoded also in CSV and the last layer is the furniture and is also encoded in CSV so the furniture layer and now let's take a look at this TSX file so it's also an XML file and it here in this line it says which 
uh, where is the sprite sheet uh, PNG file and it is in the images slash sprite sheet folder so images and this sprite sheet so let's copy these I just closed okay so let's copy these files to or these files and this images folder with this sprite sheet PNG to our I created here our res and the maps folder and in the, this maps folder I'm going to paste so now here it is map the tmx and can it stop down the tsx and the images folder with the sprite sheet ties.png so now let's change this background layer I'm going to delete all of this and also I won't inherit from this scrollable layer so in the init method I'm just going to create a BG or background so it will be the cocos that tiled uh, tiled that load uh, tiled oh sorry it, it is called tiles so cocos that tiles that load and give it the path to the files so it is in the um, first in the rest folder and inside the rest folder in the maps and it's called map underscore zero one dot tmx so we are loading this file the tmx file not the tsx so res maps and the tmx okay now i'm going to create three layers so layer one will be the bg and you can access the layers inside the tiled maps the furniture the trees the trees and the ground as bg and square brackets mm, yeah okay uh, ground this is the first layer then self dot layer two will be the bg square brackets and uh, trees and the last layer is the self dot layer three equal, equals bg and it's called uh, furniture 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 okay and here so we're creating here bg background layer and instead of adding the scroller the bg layer here i'm going to add the bg layer dot layer one and also i'm going to copy and paste this three times so bg layer two and bg layer three and i think and of course we are adding the full layer lastly i think uh, it should now work so let's try it out and of course loading a tmx a tiled tmx file is takes a little bit long for cocos it's about 15 to 16 seconds to load this file so, yes okay as you see the map is loaded as it is here in the 
I'm going to tile it map editor. So let's try it out. So and it automatically scrolls also and stops the cr scrolling when we reach the width or the height of the map. So it's fairly easy to create tiled maps. I mean uh, load tiled maps in Cocos 2D Python. One thing I don't like is the loading time. It's just too slow. So let me show you once again. So run it. Word three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, well, about, uh, let's say, 17 to 19 seconds. And this is not the, not, not a very, very large map, I mean, It is only it is only 15 tiles, uh, 15, 50 tiles in width and 30 tiles in height. Um, maybe, maybe it's because we should encode instead of CSV. It has uh, um, some kind of. Uh, other encodings like this base 64 or what uh, I'm going to try that out and uh, I'm going to let you know how long it takes to actually load with different encoding later but for now I'm just going to show you another project I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to open IntelliJ uh, Lately I started to use um, Java, Java with libgdx which is, which is a nice, uh, very good Java game engine also, or a game framework or library. And here I created also a tiled map loader, which just loads the same map. And I'm just going to show you this because I'm I want to show you how how much faster is load uh, is the loading the same TMX map in inside the Java and libgdx so I'm going to run this project and it's ready So it took about one second to load this map inside Java and libgdx. Okay, so don't forget always when we when you create in tiled. Uh, tile layers you can access them like so I think in the background it looks like it's, it 
create a dictionary. So in, in a dictionary you can access uh, the keys like this. So I think that's all I wanted to show you in this video. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.